All right, Shalom, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory is always being to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew, for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles of GMS Great Millstone and Peace, Love, Blessing, Salutations unto you sincere elect, begin with 140 and 4,000 prophets all the way down to the remaining one-third men, women, and children who are truly able to receive the glorious light of this gospel, man, in its entirety. And Laura Willen, this be edifying unto you, man, motivational, so to speak. You see, we're entering into some heavy times and coming into this thing, man. Basically, you're trying to be righteous in a wicked, wicked world, man. You know, and it's going to be tough. It ain't going to be no walk in the park, so to speak, man. You see, and that's why we have all these examples to reflect on. Not only in the time of Jacob's trouble, but at every moment that you have from now until then, man. You see, things are going to be tough. And yet, that's why we have the brotherhood. That's why we have this knowledge. That's why we have these examples to, to give us the strength and motivation and endurance to continue moving forward, man. So, Lord willingness be edifying unto you. And, uh, you know, go ahead, brother, if you want to grab that. Second Corinthians. Uh, this is 2 Corinthians 1 And we're going to start on verse 3 Blessed be Yahweh Even the father Of our, our Master Yahweh Shai Mashiach The father of mercies And the power Of all comfort Who Con, This is where all of our comfort comes from man. You see when we're in the world You know we were comforted through Alcohol, drugs, you know Other things but now we've been given the comfort of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. We're encapsulated within that small box, thinking that what we had and, you know, being able to escape through these different drugs, drugs and alcohol was freedom, man. But now we've been given something way more. We've been made free out of that box, man. That encapsulation that was around us, now we're, 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 we're free from it. Go ahead, Ak. Who comforteth us in all our... Uh, tribulation and we have the comforter man throughout all of our tribulation we have a form of comfort here man don't lose sight of that go ahead Ak. now we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble you see that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble so the heavenly father has raised up this beautiful ministry man to guide his elect with us whoever they be to 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 be comforted and continue and just just endure until that point of the coming of our king man to be part of that first dominion you see? And then all the promises will show forth. At the end of the day, man, we're, we're, we're coming into a whole new matter of living. You see, beginning with repentance, and soon it's going to manifest itself on the outside, man. It begins with the inside out, begins with repentance, and soon we're going to be raised incorruptible with these very laws in which we're trying to, trying to follow, which are, are going to be written within our heart and within our mind, and we are going to be perfect, you see? That's, that's the end all be all, man. Being liberated from this filthy flesh, man. You see? Go ahead, Ak. But, but like I said, man, it's going to be tough. Because here you are trying to be righteous in a wicked world, and you got this flesh upon you as well, man. Go ahead, brother. By the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Yahweh. You see? By that same comfort wherewith we ourselves were comforted of Yahweh, man. You see? Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab another preset, man. This is... Uh, the book of Hebrews. If you want to grab Isaiah 53, Ak, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and uh, verse 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience unto the race that is set before us. So let you set aside everything that's in the way, man. Everything that's in this world, set these things aside and run with patience, man. You see, like the story of the tortoise and the hare. You see, run with patience. You could endure and get to that very last end, man. All right. Going on, it says, uh, verse 2, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. You see, so we have the perfect example within Yahweh Shai, man, who not only came in this flesh, the same flesh that we have upon us, but endured unto the point uh, 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 of, of of perfection, man. You see? He actually defeated the flesh, man. You see, which now has given us the strength, all right, the spirit to be able to repent and walk that same walk. And through Yahweh Shai, we will reach that same end line, man. 
being risen up in glory. And that's why we have these examples. Let me go ahead and grab a preset, man, because I mentioned it a few times. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15. And verse 4, it says, For whatsoever thing were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. You see, we have our hope through and, and, and with patience. We, we have comfort, man. To have that hope to, to, to reach that end line, you see, by what's been written aforetime, man. So like I said, like I said, it is mentioned in Yahweh Shai, we have these examples of those who have who have endured and, 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 and been delivered, man. You see Daniel in the lion's den, Radshak, Neshach, and Abednego, who have not given the knee over unto Esau, man. You see in the ultimate uh, 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 example being of Yahweh Shai, man. You see, it says, looking, that's going back to Hebrews 12 and 2, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, you see, for the joy that was to come, the joy that was to come, the glory that was to come after, you see, it caused him to endure, man. Like I said, we've been encapsulated, but we've been made free, man. We know what is to come now, man. You see, the two-thirds, they can only see what is before them, man. But we know so much more that is to come to our people, man. All nations shall flow to Zion, for the law shall go out of her, man. Why is the law going to go out of her? Because the law is going to be written within our heart and within our mind, man. That everlasting kingdom, that everlasting dominion, because the law is written within our heart and within our mind, and we will be ruling in perfection, man. You see? Like, the um, the beauty that's in store for our people, man. Go ahead. I it's like one thing that you know I noticed that you know, I always do at work, you know, mentioned, you know, especially with everything going on and you know with this whole uh, you know all, all these diseases, this famine going on and everything, you know, uh, you know, he's talk about how how basically how he sort of like you know lost everything, you know, he's he, he's like you know he's and, and describing how his job is all he has left you know and uh you know and the and the matter and the and and this truth you know this is something more man Come. you know like, like the scripture says this is this is something everlasting you know what, what what a beautiful gift that this is given to you know whether if this is given to you mm -hmm. whether if you could receive it or not you know and, and and towards the end of the day you know like the brother was getting on you know hey you know we we, we know what's 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 gonna uh uh uh, uh, come to pass, man. We, we 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 understand. We see the prophecies and the water for 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 allowing us to be able to get uh, get that, man. Especially in this time and hour, man. And that's the thing, man. You know these heathen. You know the two thirds, the all the way down to the blades of grass, man. The whole planet Earth is gonna rejoice at our coming, man. That's right, man. You see, so so we have something that that is is in store. For not just our people, man, but the rehabilitation for the entire planet Earth, man. You see, this is our comfort, man. Going through the 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 the, the kingdom of heaven scriptures, going through the the promises, man. All of this written for for you know those that endure unto the end, man. As it is written within uh, uh, Second Re uh, Revelations two and uh, twenty five on down, man. You see, to inherit the planet Earth. That's what we have in store. But going on, it says, <clears throat> who. For the joy that was set before him endured the cross. See, he endured what was, what was going on, man. Despising the shame. He was being shamed. He had different jakes going, oh, if you be the son of man, uh, jump off of the cross and prove it to us right now. You see, but he had to endure it, man. Just like we're going to go through things. Just like we're going to be we're going to be uh, ashamed in this flesh for this word, man. You see, you're going to be afflicted in different ways, man. People in this world making you feel like you're the bad guy for trying to be righteous, man. Why? Because this world is upside down and it's given into the hand of the wicked pursuing Job 9 and 24. And they've totally destroyed the whole thing, man. Turned everything upside down. So now being righteous in the ways of this world, in the eyes of this world, is wicked. You see? And they're going to make you feel some type of way for it, man. And, and, you know, the brother has, you know, some, uh, a precept lined up so we could go into a little bit of detail what Yahweh Shai had to go through, man. Even Jeremiah, you know, we'll pull that out too through the spirit, man. Let's go, let's go ahead and move on. It says, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the heavenly father. 
For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds, you see. Keep in mind what Yahweh Shai had to go through, man. You see, we're, are we not called to, to, to bear the cross as well, man? Go ahead, brother. Uh, I got a precept or a Come couple. On. This is out of 1 Thessalonians 3 and uh, 7, 7. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in all our affliction and distress by, by your faith. You know, what the brother was getting on, uh, uh, bringing out, you know, hey, everything that is written within the scripture, roughly paraphrasing, is written for our learning, man. You know, you got multiple ex uh, example, uh, uh, you know, men that held a standard, man. And the, uh, and there's truth, man. And, 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 and you know, uh, uh, one being is, is Yahweh Shai, man. He paved that road for us to be able to know how to be able to reach that perfection, man. This is going on for we uh, now we live if we stand fast in the most high, man. Yep. If we stand fast, man. Yep. If we endure to the end. You see, though we've been liberated uh, in the spirit, though we've been made alive, we were dead, but we've been made alive, man. Soon that's going to manifest itself on the outside. Uh, if we endure unto the end. Go ahead. Up. I'm going to jump uh, to First Thessalonians uh, 4 and 2. For ye know what commandments we gave you. I, 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 what, what commandments it speaks of? The commandments that are written within the scriptures, man. Uh, going on, it says, By, by the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, oh, by the Most High, Yahweh Shai. For this is the, the will of Yahweh. Even your uh, sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. You know, this is what's going to keep you uh, 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 balanced, man. Uh, especially when, when it comes down to that time of trouble, man. Um, this is go uh, We're going to jump into 2 Corinthians 7 and 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from the filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh. And what is that? What is that fear? Is is, is following the Most High's laws and commandments, man. With, with fear and trembling, man. Off the paraphrasing, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I got that Isaiah on hold. Come on, yeah, go ahead. Start at uh, chapter 53, start at verse 3. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. Come on, this is Isaiah 53 and 3. He is despised and rejected of men. You see that, man? He's a, he, Yahweh Shia was despised and rejected of men in the flesh, man. So this is an example of what we would have to go through, man. Mm -hmm. Being despised, being rejected, man. The world hating you. Go ahead. Uh, rejected of men. A man of sorrows. And acquainted. Acquainted. Kind of acquainted. With grief. Mm -hmm. Meaning, meaning, uh, uh, acquainted, meaning like to be with grief, with grief, man. You see, with sorrows, man. Go ahead. Up. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised. And we esteemed him not. Surely, you know, he was despised, and, and and the people of the world didn't esteem him, man. Even his own people, man. Did not Yahweh Shai say uh, a, a prophet is not uh, uh, honored in his own country? Go ahead, Ak. Surely he hath borne our griefs and and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him, and he did that for our nation, man. The very same nation that did not esteem him. Go ahead. Steam him stricken, sm uh, smitten of, of Yahweh. Yep, they gave him into the hands of, of Esau, man. Let 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 the uh, uh, let the oppressor take hold of him, man. You see, let the man without mercy to take hold of him. And what did he do, man? The so-called white man uh, 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 beat the hell out of him and killed him in the flesh, man. You see the same kind of likeness that we're walking into, man. That's why the scriptures talk about the uh, abomination of desolation coming back again, man. Esau being wroth. Uh, because you know he he hath, he hath but a short time. All these examples of endurance, and yet there for us to hold on to, man. Like I said, not not just for the time of Jacob's trouble, but every weak point that you have until then, man. We have the examples right here. You see, Yahweh Shai went through it, man. Isaiah went through it. Jeremiah went through it. I got an account of uh you know something Jeremiah was saying. You finish that verse real quick. I 
Con, uh, smitten of, of, of power and afflicted. That was it. Con, this is uh, Jeremiah. He was smitten, smitten of Yahweh and afflicted, man. Why? To be worked unto perfection, man. To work to receive that glory. You see, the same thing that we're doing. Grab a uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. Babakasha. This is uh, Jeremiah 20 and verse 8. It says, For since I spake, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil because the word of Yahweh was made a reproach unto me and a, der a derision daily. So the word, th this word, Jeremiah was saying, man, that, that it's caused him to be a reproach. You see, it's caused him to be hated within this world, man. You see, they're putting hands upon him, man. This is right after they put him in stocks. You see, verse nine, it says, then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. You see, but in Jeremiah was saying, man, I'm done. I can't, I can't prophesy no more. You see, which is, you know, the, the same likeness that we may come into from time to time, man. You really go through it, and, and, but you've got to endure, man. We have these examples of the prophets of old getting weak. We have these examples of what Yahweh Shai went through, man. So every weak point that you have, man, we have the examples to endure through. Because what did Jeremiah go, continue to say? He says, but his word was in me. So lucky his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. You see that, man? You got that word. You see his elect, man. They got that word burning within them, man. You cannot hold it back. You been risen, hey man. You 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 ain't okay with just being an Egyptian, man. Just like Moses wasn't okay with just being an Egyptian, he he chose to suffer, as the scriptures say in the book of Hebrews, with his brethren. You see, in order to inherit what is to come, man. You see, because he knew that there was so much more in store for us than just being cool with the with the crumbs from from Esau's table, man. His word was in him like a burning fire, man. You see the condition of these animals. You see the condition of these ecosystems and how they're totally destroyed, man. You see the condition of our people and how they run after folly, man. The condition of our women. The condition of our men even, man. We are a destroyed people and one third of us are not okay with it, man. You see? You cool if I grab a quick precept just to back up exactly what you're saying? Go on. This is uh, Jeremiah 1 and 4. Then say, uh, the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the, of the womb, I sanctify thee. And I ordain thee a prophet. You see, you separated. Everybody's fitting their role in, the, in, in, in his movie, man. He has his prophets, which he set up to prophesy. He's had his one thirds, which he set up to 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 receive this this gospel and salvation, man. He has the two thirds, which are set up to 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 be destroyed, man. To be those that reject it. He has the heathen, which fulfill their role. He has Esau, which was created to be the destroyer. That's why he was given the weapon as his blessing, man. All things are created for a reason, as as it is written in the book of Ecclesiasticus, man. Everything has their purpose. You see, this is his movie. He didn't just go out and, you know, hey, I'm going to create this movie. I'm going to find this guy to fit this character. Man, he created the characters to fit that role. Jeremiah was created to prophesy, man. One third of us were created to receive salvation and, and, and do this work to the best of our ability with us, whatsoever, what, whatsoever that be. And that's according to you, man. That's according to you and the Most High. You see? That is according to you and the Most High, man. One of the brothers, one of the beloved brothers is crippled from the neck down, and he still goes out according to his ability, man. He still pushes his word according to what he can do, man. So what is your excuse, man? Again, that's between you and the Most High. I know when, I know when it's time to be crowned, man, I don't want to have no excuses, man. You see? Examine yourself as the scriptures say, man. Examine yourself and examine these examples we have of old and see what you are doing and what you can be doing, man. Because one third of us have that fire burning within our belly and we cannot hold it back, man. Make that separation between you, uh, between the two thirds and the one third. Go ahead, I. Holy. It says, I, I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Oh, that's mm -hmm. all I really wanted to get into, you know what? Gone. Back up what you were getting into. Prophesy what the Most High had coming, man. Which at that point was death and destruction. At this point is death and destruction. But what will come after that death and destruction? 
finally our inheritance, man. I promise. So those of you who are endured to the end, you're going to take part in that. You see, Jeremiah, man, he even knew, he was told that he would lose his heritage. And he still couldn't hold this fire back, man. Finally, this brother's going to receive that inheritance, man. Moses didn't even, he didn't even get to enter into the promised land, man. Finally, he's going to receive that inheritance. Going on, it says, <clears throat> And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. So, hey, man, he, he, could, he couldn't hold it back, man. Let's see, going on, verse 10, it says, For I heard the defaming of many, fear on every side, report say they, and we will report it. All my familiars watched for my halting, Look at all the people that he knew throughout his youth, waiting for him to for him to fall, waiting for him to stop, man. Saying, perhaps, or pre-adventure, he will be enticed. And we shall prevail against him, and we shall take our revenge on him. You see, waiting for their moment to pounce, man. So you're going to be hated in this world for the true sake, man. You see? That's, that's, that's how it's going to be. That's how it is going to be, man. And that's why we have these examples of Yahweh Shai, uh, of Jeremiah, the Maccabee brothers, man, who, who, who have put forth endurance to give us that example of how to be, man. Go ahead, brother. Grab me um, 1 Peter 4 and 1, Baba uh, Kishah. Do you want me to grab wisdom? Oh, yeah. Come on, Grab wisdom. Wisdom uh, 3, three and, and uh, um, start at verse... Six, uh, five, sort of five. Verse, uh, this is Wisdom Solomon 3 and 5. And having been a little chastised. See, a little chastised. You see, us being, us being proved in this flesh, even though it may seem very, very hard, man, that's just a little chastisement compared to what we have in store. Go ahead, brother. They shall be greatly rewarded, for Yahweh proved them. And found them worthy for himself. You see? But yet we're being proved to the point of being found worthy. Just like Yahweh Shai was, was, was proved in the flesh, man. And what did he do? He endured to the end. And now he's sitting at the right hand of Yahweh, man. Waiting for his moment to come back in all his glory to establish his kingdom, man. And to raise up that first dominion with him. Those who, who are standing firm unto his coming. And what's going to happen when he comes? Go ahead, brother. As gold in the furnace See, hath been. As gold, hey, we're being, all the dross and filth is being cleaned off you to the point of you being risen unto gold, man. Go ahead, Ock. Uh, furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. You see, now we're the spiritual burnt offering, man. We took up that sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, becoming whole new creatures, repenting. And now we're making a, a, a sacrifices in this flesh to obtain what is to come, man. And again, you're going to be looked at some type of way for it. I got another preset, man. This, you can hold that, though. We're going to jump back to this. First Peter 4 and, uh, and 2, it says, That he no longer should live in the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of Yahweh. See, we have a different motive now, man. For the times past of our life may have sufficed us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lasciviousness, lusts, access of wine, revelings, banqueting, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same access of riot speaking evil of you. So now they got a problem with you, man. Hey, man, this guy, this guy used to be the life of the party. This guy used to be this, that, and the third. But now they got a problem with you because now you're speaking about, about righteousness, man. Now you're speaking about... And, and really, man, what, what, is, what is the point in what Jake is chasing anyway, man? You see? That shit is pointless, man. Running around, sagging your jeans, and, you know, trying to commit adultery. and Man, you two-thirds have no idea what is going to come to you, man. Chasing after what Esau has given you, black and brown culture, which is nothing but death, man. We have so much more to come to us, man. A royal priesthood, which is going to rule the entire planet Earth, man. True royalty. Jake wants to walk around talking about king and queen this. Uh-uh, man. The Most High is going to come back and set order here, man. And if you ain't right, if you ain't the one, if you're the one that's speaking evil of those who are coming into this thing, man, then you have a, there's going to be a great humbling coming to you, man. A great humbling. You see? But, go ahead, brother. 
continue because because this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the end game of those who are going through this man like i said they're doing a walk which the end line is gonna be being raised incorruptible man but it begins with repentance man it begins with casting that old man off go ahead brother uh going on uh out of wisdom of solomon three and seven and in the time of their visitation they shall shine and run run to and fro like sparks among the stubble you see in the time of their visitation we're gonna be made shiny man we're gonna be glorified man and we're gonna run like sparks among stubble man igniting a fire among this place man consuming the two-thirds man as it is written i've I, I i have raised up fishers but in time they're gonna be turned to hunters man you're about to see true power here on the planet earth man like something you you ain't ever even been able to imagine before, man. The closest thing you could get is a damn uh, uh, Marvel's movie, man. Go ahead, brother. Verse eight. They shall judge the nations. They shall they shall throw roses on the nations. Judge the. They nations. shall judge the nations, man, because the heavenly Father is going to conquer this damn Edomite and his beast system. You see, his Roman beast government system, conquer it, and we are going to judge this earth, man. Being raised perfect. Now is it that we're going to judge them in perfection? Because that very same law is going to be written within our heart and within our mind. Pursuing to Jeremiah 31. Pursuing to uh, 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 Hebrews 8 in the 8th eight, chapter and the 8th verse on down. You see? Moving in perfection according to the uh, according to, to the word of Yahweh, man. Nothing to hinder your judgment. Go ahead, Ak. They shall judge the nations... And have dominion over the people. And have dominion over the people, man. What's this going to establish? Order in the planet Earth, man. Order is going to be established. The, the, the people want to have some kind of problem because we're telling you the, the order that, that the Heavenly Father created. Because, they, because he said that the Hebrew Israelites were his chosen seed, which, 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 which are meant to, to, to be the inheritors of the planet. But you didn't have no problem when Esau was saying it, man. You see? This order is going to cause all the planet Earth to flourish, man. You go to work, you don't tell Esau what to do, and then you think you're justified in that. Oh, well, he shouldn't be telling me what to do. Because you understand that in order for that company to thrive, everybody has to do their job. No matter what job that is, all the way up to the to the thinker, to the sweeper, man. Everybody has to do their job in order for that company to flourish, man. The planet Earth was created and given a dominion, and the planet Earth needs that dominion in order for it to flourish in all of its order, man. You see, that's what's coming back. Go ahead, Ock. That's going on, and their their power shall reign forever. You see, our power, our king is gonna reign forever, man. And everybody is gonna bow unto our power when he comes back, man. You see, true rulership is gonna be established here on the planet Earth, and they're gonna see a, a kingdom that has never been evil even to be imagined on this side, man. Because how far we've been beat down. You see. We can't even begin to comprehend what is to come to us, man. We just have these small examples, given which which give us enough to endure to that point. Go ahead, Ak. Verse nine: They that put their trust in Him. I'll read that one more time. They that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth. You see, they that put their trust in Him, they're going to understand the truth, man. Be built up in the spirit. In order to be to overcome in this flesh, man, just as Yahweh Shai being the beginner and, and the finisher of our faith, man, as the scripture said. That's good, brother, on that. Grab me uh first Peter. Uh actually grab me uh James 5. This is uh 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 1. It reads, For as much then as Hamasha Yak hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise. With the same mind, you see, the same mind as Yahweh Shai, man. We just read the examples, you see. It says, For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. You see, Yahweh Shai overcame this flesh, man, hath ceased from sin. And that's the same thing that we have coming to us, if so, we endure unto that point, man. This is First Peter 2 and 21, and it reads, For even here unto were uh were ye called because Hamashayak also suffered for us, leaving an example that ye should follow his steps. You see? Yahweh Shai left us an example to follow, man. Endurance, man. Faith, you see. 
which is going to lead to you being glorified, man. Go ahead, brother. James 5 and 11, Bubba Kasha. Uh, this is James 5, verse 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. You see, we count them happy which endure, man. Go ahead. Ye have heard of the patience of Job. You see, we've got these are going back to the examples, man. The story of Job. Go ahead. And have seen the end of the uh, of the uh, the Most High. You see, you you seen these things. You saw the end of the story of Job and what the Most High had done to him, man. Go ahead, brother. That the the Most High is very pitiful, and he's going to show pity unto his elect, man. Go ahead. Of tender mercy. You see, a mercy is unto his elect. That's what we have coming, man. If we endured that point. You see? You got a precept, bro? Yeah, I do. Um, this is Wisdom of Solomon. Jump back to 3. And we'll start on 16. As for the children uh, of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. Uh, and the seed of the unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. Yep, the seed of the unrighteous, man. That's what they have coming, man. Like we said, man, you know, Esau has enticed you with death. Black culture, brown culture was going to lead you straight straight to the grave, man. You see? But the elect, man, we, we are going to receive true life. And we've already been liberated in this flesh, man. We've already received life in this, uh, Salakia, in the spirit. We've already received life in the in the spirit. But now we're about to be made a, a, a true immortal, so to speak, man. Raised incorruptible. Having that law written within our heart and within our mind and moving in perfection underneath Yahweh. Go ahead, Ak. For though, though they live long, yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honor. Or if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort in the day of tri uh, trial. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. You see, but we read the end of the of the uh, of the righteous man. But horrible, horrifying is the end of the unrighteous generation, man. You're gonna be given into the hand of this goddamn devil Esau, man. You see, the the the, the man uh, who is unmerciful, just like you gave Yahweh Shai into his hand, he's gonna give the two third into into, into into his hand as well, man. You see, you reap what you sow, but the elect are gonna be raised what incorruptible, man, as gold, as we read. You see, immortals, man. Uh, read me uh, Romans eight and eighteen, Baba Kasha. This is uh, Romans five and ten, and it reads, for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. You see? So Yahweh Shai, man, he endured and, and set us that example, man. And, and if we follow those same steps, man, you see, understanding that he is the mediator, man, when you're going through it, calling upon him, man. Calling upon Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You see? 